right, that's right. Come on, come on, come on. It's all right to praise the Lord now. He's my everything. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
Jesus is mine. Amen. For the foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. I don't know about your story, but this is my story. This is my song. Amen. Amen. Never said that before. OJs come on. Beyonce. Two chains, somebody like that. You talking about this is my song? Amen. That's my song. Amen. That's my song right there. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Let's give the praise team another hand. Amen. 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 Listen, I want you to go back with me. I don't have much uh, 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 in the way of time. We're not going to be here too long uh, with me, but I do want to give you some word to go with. Amen. Amen. And I want you to make every effort to come back and welcome our guests this afternoon if you would. Amen? Amen. And we're going back to the, to the book of Ecclesiastes. The wisdom writing of the preacher Ecclesiastes. Amen? And we're going to just uh, go back to that 10th chapter. And I'm just going to lift up the 19th verse to lead us into our lesson for right. today. Right. Amen? Ecclesiastes, the 10th chapter and the 19th verse, and you really uh, should investigate this whole thing by yourself. There's so much wisdom in there. Amen? Amen. Amen. What fools do. How fools talk. Amen. Amen. How to tell a fool when you see him. All right. Amen. Amen. It's all right there. But verse 19 of that, that 10th chapter reads like this. A feast is made for laughter. And wine is made for Mary, but money answers everything. Money answers what? Everything. Everything. Amen. Amen. Money answers everything. Pray with me, if you will. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask right now that you, in this place, in the form of your precious Holy Spirit, move among this waiting congregation, have thine own way. Lord, open their hearts and their minds to the word that you've given unto your servant. Lord, right now, I ask that you would take me and hide me behind the shadow of the cross, that they might not see me, but Christ in me. Amen. Bless somebody's soul. Cleanse and make them whole in the precious name of Jesus Christ. I pray. Amen. Amen. But money answers everything. I just want to talk to you for a little while. <coughs> about talking money. Talk about the money. Talking money. I started to title this message something else. <laughs> money talks and right. yep, yep, yep. So yeah. I know what I'm talking about. Yep. But I said no that might be a little too radical. <laughs> yep. Amen. Yep. Even though it's the truth, <laughs> it might just be a little bit too radical for them. So we go we're gonna hold on to that one. Anyway, you know what's on my mind. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But let's just focus on talking money. I don't like talking to money. I don't like talking to it. I don't like having conversations with it because every time I talk to it, all it says is goodbye. <laughs> every time I talk to my money, it's going somewhere. Every time it seems like, I know somebody know what I'm talking about. When I look at my money, it's going somewhere. Amen. I go to my bank account, and and, and when you when you say bank account, folks ears prick up like you got ain't ain't all that much in there. I'm just saying when I go there, I'm normally sending some money somewhere. Amen. When I go to talk to my money, it's not like other people, you know. Uh, and it's top 1%, their money talks to them. You got people that, that, that got so much money that their money just makes money. Am I right about it? They go to talk to their money, and they, 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 when they talk to their money, they talk 
they got so much money they talk to an intermediary. They got a middleman so they can talk. They got to go to their broker and talk. I ain't got no broker. Amen. They got to go to their money manager in order to talk to their money because they got so much money they don't know where it all is. Accountant. Man, listen, I, I know where every last dime. Y'all know what I'm talking about today. Every now and then I might get surprised. Might open a drawer and there's a couple quarters in there. Might look in a pants pocket and there's a dollar bill in there, something like that. You know? But normally I know where every dime of my money is because I have to use my money. Anybody know what I'm talking about? All right, all right. I've got to use my money. But money always says something. Amen? It's just a matter of what it says to you. Uh, yeah, money does talk. And when you listen, uh, what you hear when you listen to money or when you listen to a dollar bill talk or something like this. You hold me in your hands and call me yours. Yet I may as well call you mine. You will work yourself to death to get me. Your marriages have fallen apart as you argue over me. You have sold yourself to keep me. You do so much to get me, but I'd be only paper if it were not for the desire to have me. I go no place, you do not send me. I keep strange company. I go to church and the bars, sometimes in the same pocket. My power is terrific. Handle me wisely, lest you become my servant rather than I yours. That's something that money probably talks about. How the power uh, that it wields over you. How it can make you do things. How it can ruin your friendship. Ruin your marriage. Mm -hmm. Ruin your relationship. Cause you to... Oh, Y'all don't hear what I'm talking about. Do all kinds of things that you wouldn't do. Money. Uh, there was a, a famous uh, R&B group back in the day that sang a song that said, For the love of money, people will steal from their mothers. People will rob their own brother." Said so folk can't even walk the street because they'll never know who in the world they're going to meet just because of that mean green. People do all kinds of things, and obviously, money has a lot to say. And people, when when you talk about money, people stop and listen to what it says. Amen. Uh, back in the day, they had a, a familiar uh, television uh, a commercial that said, "When E. F. Hutton speaks." Everybody, everybody yes, listen. Yes, E.F. Hutton was a, was a, was a big time banker, mm -hmm. investment company. E.F. Hutton, and they said when E.F. Hutton speaks, everybody listen. Money talks, and the impact of the words to affect your life and my life depends a great deal on who's listening. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I don't know about you, but but I have a different perspective on money. Since I got saved, y'all, right. am I right about it? You know, I used to worry about money all the time. All I did was worry about money. If I was gonna have enough, if I was gonna make more, uh, what I didn't have, where what I had was hidden. You, you don't hear what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I used to worry about money all the time. Amen. But. But it takes money to move and to live in a commercial society. And that's what we live in. And, and if you tell me you don't need money, and you don't think about money, and you don't care about money, you, 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 come on. Come on. I wasn't born yesterday. Amen? Uh, money is something that you have to think about if you're going to live in America. But you don't have to be over concerned about what money has to say. I want to spend my time listening to the talk of the Lord. Mm. And many of us, we've erred in our way. And, and we actually think that if we listen to what the world says about money, 
or what the world has convinced us about money, that we're going to be more successful than if we listen to what the Word of God tells us about money. You think God doesn't know about money? You think, I, you, you think God doesn't know about the ups and downs of the financial system? That he doesn't know about the stock market and NAFTA and, 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 and Brexit and all these different things. The euro, you think he doesn't know about all these things? God knows all this money, all about money. The, the, the Bible actually says that he's rich with houses and land. And he holds the wealth of the world in his hand. And even though money talks... I keep listening for the word of the Savior. And the word of the Lord said that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. What do you think that fullness is? When he said the fullness of the earth, what do you think he's talking about? All the wealth of the world is the Lord's. The Bible says that it is the Lord that gives you the ability to gain wealth. That's right. Did y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. You think it's the job that you have that's going to give you the ability to gain wealth. You think that the person you married is going to give you the ability to gain wealth. You think that the degree that you got is going to give you the ability to gain wealth. But the job that you have is not worth much. If you don't have legs that allow you to get there. Y'all right, don't, don't hear what I'm right. talking about right. today. All the money in the world uh, couldn't get the scientist Edward Hawkins out of that wheelchair. Do y'all hear what I'm talking about today? The Lord can cut you off like that. You put money before him, he might need to teach you. A little something about his way to manage finance. Amen. Amen. A lot of times the problems that we have with money are cause and effect. We cause it. And now you feel the effect. Y'all hear what I'm talking about? Uh, you're the one that doesn't do what you're supposed to do. Even though you're expounded. Let me tell you something. It's a dangerous thing to profess to love the Lord. And then not do what he tells you to do Amen. in one area or another. You're always going to have problems. Amen? God is not mocked. In other words, you can't make a fool out of God. You can't trick God. God don't want to hear your slick talk. He don't want to hear all your sob stories. You can't fool God. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, and I know some of y'all don't know nothing about no farming, that means whatever you plant, that's what you're going to reap. In other words, if you plant strawberries, you're going to pick strawberries. Nobody plants orange, uh, uh, an orange grove and expect to get lemons off the tree. Whatever you plant, you're going to reap. Y'all don't hear what I'm talking about. Money talk. But you need to keep listening to God. Amen. This text here is written by a wise man named Solomon. And supposedly he's accredited with being one of the wisest men that ever lived. And he had gotten old and he was in his old age. And he started to write down these words of wisdom for the succeeding generation. Amen. Amen. And, and he warned against the uh, extravagance of parties. Don't just go out looking to get drunk and to party and to eat and to feast and 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 you know getting up in the morning and and, and he said that it's 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 it's, it's the people have a hard time when their leader feast in the morning the first thing he think about when he get up is eating and drinking and partying amen you ever seen anybody like that the first thing they think about when they get up in the morning is getting a hit y'all getting quiet on me right now first thing they think about is where the bottle is amen we got some folk got bottles hidden all over the place. Because they scared they might get stuck somewhere and they won't have a bottle there. So they got one hidden in the bathroom under the sink. And they got one hidden in the kitchen, back in the back of the cabinet. And they got one in the living room, under the couch. And wherever they wake up at, wherever they happen to wake up at, they can start right back off. Drinking again. Amen? 
Bob, uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, through uh, Solomon, through Ecclesiastes, said that it's a sorry individual that thinks first about feasting first thing in the morning. Amen? Amen. And especially when you think about feasting at the expense of other people. Some of us don't care what we do to people to get money. Am I right? We'll rob people. We'll steal. Amen? Some folk will break into church and steal just to get money. Not even thinking about the damnation that they bring on themselves. The curses that they're going to have to endure for the rest of their life. Amen. Because of what they've done. Amen. But Solomon's wisdom is reflected in, in this, this truth here. With respect to things, money has a lot to say. He says it clear, but money answers what? Everything. Amen. And this is what, what, he, what Solomon is saying was that when it comes to things, money talks. All right. And things refer to matter. Things re refer to, to, to matter, not, not things that matter, but matter in the scientific sense. And matter is anything that takes up space and has some weight to it. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. And with respect to the material world, Solomon is trying to tell us that money has a lot to say. What does money say to you and me, the average Joe? Amen? My name ain't Joe, but you know what I'm talking about. And the average Joe and the average Joanna. I want to be politically correct. Amen? Hashtag me too. But, uh, I, know I ain't offending nobody. What does money say to us, the average Joe and the average Joanna? Well, when, when a man named Balaam, a prophet of God, when he, was, when he heard money talk, it told him that he could be rich and powerful if he just prophesied against the children of Israel and caused them to go a different way instead of going uh, into the promised land, I mean from the promised land. Money spoke loud to him. to said, look, if you go and do what I want you to do, I'm going to give you this amount of money. And he was on his way to do that. Uh, but God took a, a donkey yes, sir. Mm -hmm. and caused it to speak to him as he was on the way to do his dirty yes, deed for the money that he had gotten. And Balaam is not by itself. I got some folks sitting in here right now that have heard the voice of money speak and you went against your principles. Mm -hmm. And your better judgment just to get that dollar in your hand. I got some women in here that have done some things that they would have never did with who they did it with if it wasn't... Y'all don't hear what I'm talking about. Today. I got some brothers in here that would have never went in the direction that they would have went in if it wasn't for the money. And when money spoke, uh, uh, it, it makes you do things against your better judgment sometimes. When money spoke to a woman named Delilah, she betrayed a strong man and made him weak. Y'all ever heard the story? How many people betray their husbands? Betray their wives? Betray, betray those that they love because of money? There's some folk that get married. And they get married purely for financial reasons. I was broke. She wasn't. So I got married. Y'all don't hear what I'm talking. I ain't talking about me. I'm saying. I, 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 I was broke. He wasn't broke. And that's why I got married. Amen? Money spoke louder than love. That's the case with Delilah. She turned her lover over to enemies because of money. Y'all hear what I'm talking about? When money speaks to you. Now, listen to me. For the average man, mm -hmm. me and you and all of us that, that work for a living, we're not in the top, I mean, some of you might be, but I'm sure not. Mm -hmm. In the top 1%. When money talks to us, it talks to us in dreams. Mm -hmm. Am I right about it? Mm -hmm. See, because that's all I can do when it comes to money is dream. dream about it. Mm -hmm. You hear what I'm talking about? <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I, I, I see 
uh, of brand new BMWs on TV, but all I can do is dream about it. I can't go out. I can't go out and buy one. When when money talked to me, it talks to me in dreams. Oh, oh man, that would be nice. Man, he won that two hundred some million dollar lottery. Wow. What would I do if I had all I could do is dream? Amen. Money shows us visions of, of fancy houses and, and fine jewelry and, and beautiful cars and, and the luxuries of life. All I can do is dream. There used to be a show on TV called Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. It was one of the most popular shows on TV because people would watch that show and they would dream about money. Amen? Now, rich people weren't watching the show because they didn't have to dream about it. They already had it. But for the average man, just like me and you, I would watch it and go, wow, what would I do if I had that yacht? Man, what would I do if I lived in a house like that? Boy, I sure would like to swim in that swimming pool. I, all I could do is dream about money. Money talks to me in dreams. And, and, and when money speaks, it talks about power and control and, and dominance over our lives. You know, that's the one thing that, 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 that when I dream about money that really turns me on about money. I'm not that turned on by uh, uh, items and things of that nature, but I, I really dream about having control. Amen? Amen. Because I couldn't have control if I got money. Right. I'm like my man that just hit that lottery for a hundred and some million. He told that truck driving company that he was driving for, take this job. Yeah. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. I, I'd be in control if I could get me some money. I could do what I wanted to do if I could get me some money. I could tell some people what I want to tell them. <laughs> if I just had me some money. Am I right about it? Right. Money speaks, though it usually reaches the lowest, emptiest parts of us and finds out what we lust for. Amen. And whispers in our ear, you can get that if you get me. Amen. That's the case when Jesus was in the wilderness alone by himself. Uh, and it's in his solitude, money talked to him. He got hungry and money talked to him. Amen. He got lonely, money talked to him. And Satan came and he showed him all the prospects of riches. And 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 and, and he said, uh, I can give you power. I can give you dominance. I can give you all this with a little bit of money. And money spoke loud to him. But what did he say? He said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And when money talked, Jesus just said, get behind me, Satan. Yes, and there are times when money can't talk loud enough. Sometimes it talks too loud. Stop us from doing good things that we should, but sometimes money can't talk loud enough. That's the times when the voice of Prosperity comes face to face with principle. Amen? Amen. Men and women of principle turn a deaf ear to money talk if it means giving up something that's important to us. I'm not going against certain things in my life for money. There's just certain things that I'm not doing for money. All right. Amen. All right. There was a woman named Queen Jezebel, and she wanted Naboth's uh, vineyard. There, he had to choose vineyards, and she admired it, and she wanted it, and she wanted to own it, and she had lots of money, and he didn't. And she offered this man Naboth, Naboth enough sums of money to buy his vineyard, and the price kept getting higher and higher. But no matter how much she offered, he wouldn't sell it because his vineyard was important to him. And the general idea of most people is that every man got a price. You just show me the price, and I can buy you. Right. Amen? If they offer you enough money, you'll do what they want you to do. Amen? Amen. And for some people, things that they think are important, they don't realize are not as important as they think they are when they get offered enough money for them. Amen? 
Uh, uh, that's like that, 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 that's like there was a movie where a man offered a, a husband and a husband uh, uh, five million dollars or something like that to sleep with his wife. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Amen. He made an indecent proposal. And the money talked to them so loudly that they actually considered it. They actually thought about it. And y'all hear what I'm talking about today? All right. Some folk think that anybody can be brought in. And in the black community, we get brought all the time. Politicians come in and buy us. Right. All right. They, 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 they want to give us certain things. And, and, and outside of the community, they found out that we can be brought. Amen? Mm -hmm. And that we listen to money talk. All right. Listen, it's not just in the black community. It's in the church. Yeah. All right. You go in certain churches, they got folks sitting on the front row. You'd be like, whoa, whoa, what is they doing? <laughs> what are they doing up there? What are they doing up on the podium? You, do, do they know? Amen? But they, you give enough money to the church and, and you can buy their morality. They're not going to tell you something. You'll, you'll, never get, you'll never get expelled from your ministry because of the money that you give. Even though you're sorry as you can be. Talk about it. The church you will look the other way because money talks loud enough to buy the church's silence. Talk about a it. lot of people in the workplace suffer humiliation and injustice because of that paycheck that you get every week. You would never take the stuff that you take off of people that you take off of the people down at that job if it wasn't for that. You, you know what I'm talking about. Folk would never talk to you. You would never let somebody talk to you, especially some little skinny behind. <laughs> if it wasn't for that paycheck that you would get. Am I right about it? First Timothy 6 and 10 tells you, For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil, for which some have strayed from the faith in their greediness and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. When you fall in love with money, you listen when it talks. You recognize money as only a means to accomplish an end and not an end in itself. And then you're free from money taking over your life. Amen. The love of money brought down nations. The love of money broke up many good marriages. Yes, sir. Judas carried, carried, uh, excuse, got carried away with the love of money. Amen. When the poor woman took some expensive oils and bathed and washed the feet of the master. Judas complained that the oil could have been used and sold for money, but the treasury, uh, 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 in the tri put in the treasury to feed the poor. Amen? His love of money overruled his commitment to Jesus. And a lot of us frown upon Judas's actions. There's a lot of us in here that will sell out the Lord for much less. Amen. Especially when money gets to talking to you. When the apostles moved from place to place, they came upon Simon that was a sorcerer. He saw him heal people in the name of Jesus and he came to them and he offered them money to buy the power to heal for them. It was then that he learned while money talks real loud with respects to things. Amen. When it comes to the things of the spirit, money ain't got nothing to say. Talk about it. You can't buy your way into heaven. That's right. Jesus tried to warn you to invest your treasures in silver and gold. Don't invest your treasures in silver and gold that can be corrupted. But you've got to build your treasure in heaven. Come on, yeah. come on. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. That's what he said. Solomon said, money talks with respects to things, and that's true. But when it comes to salvation, money ain't got nothing to say. Money can buy you a little bit of happiness, but it can't buy you joy. David had money, but no joy. And he cried out, Lord, restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Money can buy you companionship, but money can't buy you love. The Beatles said it can't buy you love. Money can't buy you love. 
Money can get you in the front row of the church. Money might even be able to get you up in the pulpit. All right. But I declare to you today, except a man be born again, All right. he cannot enter into the All kingdom right. of heaven. Yes, Lord. Money talks when it comes to time for the salvation of man. Excuse me, money talks. But when it comes to time, when it comes time for the salvation of your soul, heaven would only listen to the blood of the Lamb. Mm. Oh. You see, when the Lord speaks, things get lifted off my shoulders. Yes, when the Lord speaks, care get removed. I might have some good health insurance, but it's only Jesus that can heal my body. You know what? I might have good friends, but it's only Jesus that can give me joy. When the Lord speaks, my fears get washed away. When the Lord speaks, my doubts are destroyed. When the Lord speaks, crooked path get made straight. Money might talk, but I'm going to listen to Jesus. Jesus said, come unto me, all thee that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I heard money talk, but I'd rather listen to Jesus. Jesus, the lily of the valley, come unto me, I'll give you joy. Jesus, the lily of the valley, come unto me, I'll turn that situation around. It wasn't money that 3,000 years ago caused him to get up from the grave with all power in his hand. You couldn't pay him to get up. You couldn't give him no bonds to give up. You couldn't give him stocks to get up. But early Sunday morning, the power of God raised Jesus up. I'm telling you today, make you some money. But don't forget about the Lord. Get you some cash. But don't forget about the Lord. Jesus, my way maker. Jesus, my heavy load sharer. You can't pay me to turn my back on the Lord. Ain't he all right? I know the Lord will make a way. I might have an empty bank account, but I know the Lord will make a way. Ain't God all right? I wish I had somebody that remember when they were broke and the Lord brought them through. I wish I had somebody was wondering how they were going to feed all those kids. But the Lord brought them through. Money ain't everything. Do y'all hear me what I'm saying? Money ain't everything. Oh, I like having me some money. Don't get me wrong. I can't stand not being able to pay my bills. I can't stand not being able to drive what I want or wear what I want or go where I want. But money ain't everything. Amen. That's why you see rich folk jumping off of buildings. That's right. Taking overdoses and all kind of things because money isn't everything. I wish I had somebody that had some money sometimes. <laughs> They'll tell you. You know, when you don't have money, all you think about is money. Am I right about it? When you don't have money, you think about, oh man, I gotta get money to eat. I gotta, I need money for this. Well, when it, they gonna cut this off, and then I better park around the corner so they don't see, my, they don't come. Give, you know what I'm talking about? But when you have money, you realize that there's more to life than money. Do what the Lord tells you to do. Amen. And he will bless you. He said, try me and see. Amen. You know, you don't have to commit to doing what the Lord wants you to do forever. He didn't say that. You don't even have to commit to it. Because he don't want to make you do anything. But he said, try me and see. Won't I pour you out a blessing that you won't have a room to receive it. And I guarantee you today, anybody in here that's done right by the Lord in your finances, he always came through for you. 
And those of you that play your little tricks with your money and the Lord, I hate to tell you this and I don't want to be mean, but you're going to struggle for the rest of your life. I know the Lord will make a way. Yes, He will. take a leap of faith come forward give these gentlemen your hand accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and the Bible says you shall be saved you only just have to believe one thing and this will start you off that he died that he was buried and for three days and after that third on that third day he rose with all power in his hand if you confess that with faith you can be saved right now why don't you come come to Jesus while you have time would it be one today I know the Lord. I know the Lord. We'll make a way. We'll make a way. Yes, we will. Would it be one today? Why don't you come? This is your time. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. like to hear the preacher talk about money uh, I'm sorry that you had to hear that amen but somebody got to talk about money sometime amen amen we we not know uh, uh, we don't preach no prosperity gospel anything like that amen we don't watch people we not no cult we don't want you we don't want you your, to see your tax return or, or see your check stub or anything like that, but we want you to be blessed. Amen? Amen. I want to see everybody in this church blessed. 
And in turn, the church will be blessed. All right. And then in turn, the church will bless others. You see how that works? All right. When we all do what we're supposed to do, we get blessed. All right. And then the church can do what it needs to do. Amen. Don't hold back the work of the Lord. He won't hold you back. Amen? Amen. Amen. It wasn't just a spiritual thing Jesus was talking about when he said, If I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. You put God first, and he'll do amazing things in your life. I'm a witness. Amen. God bless you. Look, 4 o'clock, we're going to come back, and we're going to have a, a service uh, with uh, God's chosen worship and praise center and I hope all of you will join us stand to your feet let's get ready to go y'all act like y'all mad at me or something amen 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 Father God in the name of Jesus right now I ask Lord that you would Send a financial blessing upon each and every individual within the sound of our voice. Lord, we know that money talks. Lord, we want to say the right things when it comes, when it talks to us. Bless us now as we go forward in your will and in your way. May the grace of God, the love of Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest rule and abide with each and every one of us henceforth now. And forevermore, the people of God say amen. 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 And amen. God bless you. Go in peace.